Hello everyone, welcome in the year 2020 and today I'm going to show you my finished object video with a hat that I finished in December 2019, <laughs> which is a full of meanings hat and you've seen it. So uh, this is uh, the one, I love it so much. Uh, this is my third year, I think, that I'm knitting it, 2018, 19, 2017, no. <laughs> I think I have started knitting 2017, 2018 and 2019. And oh, this is it. This is it for the 2019, and I love it so so much. Christmas 2019, because I knitted two full of these hats in 2019. Because I, and in 2018 I finished in January. I didn't have time, but with this I was spot on. Um, so yeah, first things first. I see the pom pom is not really properly connected, because just to show you the. I was thinking that I will be able to show you the top so you can have it just how it looks. So this is how it looks on my head. It is, even though it's using fingering weight yarn, 24 5 gram minis, stay tuned, I will be saying some more about that. Um, it gives a very chunky hat. So hopefully you can see how thick it is because of those folds, which I'm also like to flip them through and check the, it's like a samples of the yarn over here. <laughs> so nice. So maybe on the screen, I'm going to show the Ravelry page. And uh, this is the pattern, paper pattern. Uh, I'm calling for 24, five grams because it's originally designed for the advent, but you can knit as many as you would want to and add as many folds as you would want to for the height that you want to. <laughs> I really like the beginning. So what, did I, so what did I do over here? I really like the beginning of the hat from perspective of the first few folds and the patterns are slightly different than the rest. So it's up to you which one you want to version you want to pick. Just make sure that the one that you pick with the size of the needles you pick, you continue with the numbers of rounds for that. Otherwise you will run out of that, that five gram mini. Um, some people are asking me, will those five minis, <laughs> five gram minis looks really tiny. Will it actually uh, be enough? Well, uh, with your, if you don't want to check the gauge, just basically the best thing is to knit one fold and you will know if that's enough or not. Remember, not every fingering is the same. So for instance, I knitted one hat, um, and this one maybe on the screen, um, you can check the link down below to the video, with the leftovers of my friend. So, you know, fingering could be from 365 to 425 meters per 100 grams in uh, yards. Maybe on the screen. <laughs> what have I said now? Couldn't be this. Um, so it gives you slightly different effect, and um, just to be aware, it's a brilliant if you have the same, um, I don't know, brand uh, that you would want to continue that. Um, so yeah, just something that you would need to focus on. Again, one more thing, and I'll be repeating that, best thing in regards to picking up stitches when you do the folds, is to have a contrast colors um, fold. So the one that you will be able to see. So I added, this year I added an extra video. Probably I should delete the first one from the pattern, but I actually have two. Pick up stitches video one and two. And in the two, the second one was recorded when I was actually knitting this hat. And when I was switching, I think, from the gray to the green color, you could literally see it very well, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. And with this hat, I did not leave the ends. I also show you how I hide the end, basically make a knot and hide the end inside the fold when I'm picking up stitches. So you can absorb that too. With this hat, I did a bit of modification because I continue with the number of rounds for the fold that you have at the beginning. And I knew that that will uh, make me to knit another fold. And because I did not follow any advent calendar, I did not have any mini advent calendar, I was just basically picking up the yarn that I had. If you're interested, for instance, what kind of leftovers I had on the screen, you can see down below video that I was showing you the prep for my full of minis hat for the Christmas 2019. So uh, that's that. <laughs> so I added two extra folds and exactly the height and up the way of the previous one, I'm just saying. And uh, yeah, and with the leftovers, I just did a pom pom, made a pom pom. Did a pom pom, made a pom pom, let me know. So yeah, I heard, um, okay, so also, if you want to see how this hat uh, presents itself um, 
in the wild uh, you can check my vlogs definitely i record uh, i will de definitely i will recommend you to go and watch uh vlogmas from 2019 for the day 26 uh sorry 25th and 26th because i went to for we, i went for a walk uh for uh, first uh, kobylanska valley in zakopane in poland and then hohoowska valley in zakopane in poland so um yeah you could see it out and about in the snow. Probably you will not be able to see that in Ireland, so take advantage of that. <laughs> um, what else? So when it's windy, the wind does not go through the hat because of the fold, so I really like that. So if you're hiking or your climate is like that one in Poland for those few days that you have a snow, a bad lunch, or you have minus something, it's really, really worth it to knit. And especially that, oh, especially when you have loads of leftovers and you don't know what to do with that yarn. It will take uh, some time to knit it because of the folds and fingering, but it's so worth it and that's why I like to do it um, during December, but I was hoping to in 2020 just have a one full of media's hat on the go. I haven't started yet, but I always wanted to take 260 grams balls so basically two colors and just mix them together so have it like stripes and to see how it look because obviously you can do with it whatever you want and I've seen beautiful hats that they had just a one color in the middle that it was um, I think there is check the check the check the link to the pattern to rapidly and check the projects if you have tabs over there in the, in the pattern project page um, in the pattern page you have projects and you will see lots of hats that people knitted and it was just amazing to see your progress during the uh, December 2019 so it was so so nice and um, yeah if you've knit a hat and you haven't published anything what you're waiting for let me know I really want to see it what you have done with it so thank you so much and that way also by purchasing the pattern you support me over here on this channel that's the only way you can uh, kind of support me I don't have anything extra um, but uh, to be honest, kind of the best thing to see if someone knits what you come up with. And this is really amazing. I'm shocked that I designed it, so to say. <laughs> ah, anyway, anything else? If you're wondering what needles I used, for this pattern I use US size 3, which is, um, sorry, for this pattern I use US size uh, 2.5, which is three millimeters and I continue that although the pattern tells you that after a certain number of folds you should switch to US size 4 which is 3.5 millimeters I think I'm saying it right do I okay in regards to needles because I probably missed it up so on the screen you can see the Reverly page again to show you the needle section what needles you, you need to use i use us size you know i don't know us size for it i think it's us size 2.5 but it's three millimeters for sure it's three millimeters with us size check me <laughs> because i know that's kind of vague area in regards to three millimeter needles in regards to the knitting thing um and you know sizes so check that out i continue that and i knitted it i was thinking should i add an extra one like even after we're using after two days but to be honest this is the perfect thing so if i had to do it again for myself i would do it exactly because this is my ear and you can't barely see it so that covers it all so i really really like it so I think that's all. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget, uh, you can always use hashtag full of me's hat. There's really amazing yarn dyer and that you, if you're thinking of purchasing the yarn, I would go check it out um, on the screen over here. Um, I'm taking it from the Instagram. So you can see there is a bag. The bag is locked with actual lock. And at the end, once you finish the hat, you will have a key. I'm not sure where they go continue that for the future but that's what they did for the last two years and it was really amazing to see all the videos when the people were pulling out the keys at the end and it was just amazing so um definitely i can recommend that and uh, at any other stage if you see five grand minis here and there or you want to swap with friends go for it and uh, make yourself a lovely i don't know kind of box <laughs> keep it over there and enjoy i hope you enjoyed this one i hope you like this hat and you're going to try it till the next one bye